Hi, it's Jo here from Rhythm and Tunes Piano School. I am just sitting here reflecting a little bit on the uh, year of 2020. We're in our final week of the term uh, and our final week of the year, apart from a few little uh, bits and pieces that I need to do next week, but um, final full full week of the year here. So what an incredible year it's been here in the studio. So um, we've, if, if you block out the COVID stuff, if you leave the COVID stuff at the door of the studio, there's, there's been a lot of creativity happening here uh, at the keyboard with the, um, the group classes that are run here uh, every, every, um, every week. And um, yeah, I just thought, um, just jump on here and uh, hey Fran, not a long time no see, how are you going? Hey Monica, and uh, uh, is it Betty? Betty, if I pronounce that correctly, or Bet? Um, yeah, so as you can see, we decided to have a hat party in one of the uh, classes today. So that was a lot of fun. And um, these two ladies that decided that we all needed to wear hats, they're just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous students, like all my students are. And uh, so we sat there in our hats and uh, learnt how to play Brahms Lullaby today. So that was, uh, that was a load of fun. And then we did a nice blues piece. Um, actually, the blues piece we did is a really fun one. I might play it for you. I had not intended to do that, but I might just play it through. And uh, hey, Rosie, how you going? So this piece is called... Um, Oh gosh, can't even remember, I wasn't even intending to play it. Uh, Billy uh, at the footy, Billy at the footy. It's a piece by Neil Moore. And, um, and when I demonstrate it in class, I always say uh, the first cycle, the first time I play it through, I'll, um, I'll play it as we learn it. And then the second cycle, uh, I'll just jazz it up a bit. So I might do that here now. So here we go, Billy at the footy. Let me try that again. being perfect here at Rhythm and Piano, uh, Rhythm and Tunes Piano School. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, and um, we really just come in and we uh, do the best that we can and I think that's incredibly important, especially for um, some of the students who have, have come from a background of having to play uh, perfectly uh, and accurately, you know, like you know, there's nothing wrong with being accurate, but um, we're all human, aren't we? And uh, we all make mistakes. And as I was explaining to one of my kids' classes the other day, uh, if we didn't make mistakes, then there probably wouldn't be any new inventions in the world because how many inventions and amazing new creative things have been designed because of um, a so-called mistake? So there you go. So uh, the other little um, moment uh, of the week was a class last night and um, we did not have somebody to play the saxophone here in attendance and we did not have somebody to play um, the bass and so <laughs> the three of us got on the keyboard and uh, we were all those instruments and we were just performing a jazz piece together as a trio and that was just super fun and you could even like start to feel the exciting um, flow that happens when uh, something just pieces together so well and so beautifully and so awesomely and uh, there was a real energy around um, doing this little jazz piece so that was really fun 
I've actually, I'll just play a little bit of it for you. We don't do this one immediately. So um, if you come into lesson number one, we will not be doing this. <laughs> if you come into lesson number 10, we will not be doing this. Um, but over time we do a, um, a jazz program. And so this, was, I'll just play the skeleton of what we were doing last night on the keyboard. So this is a piece again by Neil Moore called The Moron. mistakes just made one again who cares so <laughs> no I'm not your um, your uh, perfect piano teacher so uh, so um, that was a fun class and then this afternoon I had a um, gorgeous boy he's been coming for a few years and one of the things that we really emphasize in um, uh, delivering this methodology is what we call um, generative learning and so I guess when you and I were at school we were kind of you know spoon-fed information and then we had to regurgitate it for the exams and so we try and encourage um, a lot of thinking I guess outside of the box and so I was saying to this class after this like boy had shown me this incredible creation this incredible composition that he had uh, been working on with a number of different ideas and he had taken a little bit of this and a little bit of that and he had uh, mishmashed it all together into something um, that was all of his own and I was explaining to them all like they're all 12 or 13 or you know even older some of them older teenagers um, you know, just how all the jobs that, you know, um, were in existence a de even a decade ago or two decades ago, they're not going to be in existence in the future and the skills that are going to be required are the exact same skills that we're learning here uh, every week on the keyboard. We, they're going to have to learn how to improvise. They're going to have to learn how to pivot on a dime. They're going to have to learn how to be resilient and cope with with changes and um, they're, they're basically going to, you know, be left with um, jobs that involve innovation and design and, and a really creative brain. And uh, that's what I get the most excited about, the fact that we are teaching people to improvise and compose and think on the spot and um, bring together a whole different um, collection of ideas. And so... What he showed me today, it was just the most best way to, this is really itchy, this hat, but I'm not going to take it off because I'm going to have bad hair if I do that. You'll see all my uh, frizzy hair. 
Um, uh, so he, yeah, um, he was just, um, he just, it was just a really lovely way to finish up the year and a really um, important conversation to have uh, with kids of that age, I think, in terms of them understanding that all the skills they learn here on the keyboard are very uh, transferable to whatever um, career that they choose. So what else has happened this week? Um, oh, I think that's about it. I wanted to tell you about, um, I have been saying I haven't known whether or not I'll be doing uh, any more rounds of music on steroids. So I have decided that I will be continuing music on steroids into the new year. It's different though. I'm calling it music on steroids too. I have tweaked it and I have changed it up and I have made it bigger and better than ever. <laughs> and I'm actually um, really excited about the new look and the new feel of, um, of music on steroids too. And I've even set a date. And so we will be starting that on the Wednesday, 27th of January, uh, normal time of 12.30. And uh, I have had so many amazing ladies um, come through that. I don't know if I've had any gentlemen actually through Music on Steroids, but some incredible ladies through that over the course of this year. And it has just been um, such a fun, lively, uh, exciting experience for, well, number one for me to deliver. And I hope um, the feedback that I've got is that um, the participants have had a really great time and um, certainly had value out of the amount of content that we, um, that we cover in that program. So uh, if you wanted to find out more about that, I'll be running a free introductory session this Thursday at 2.30 South Australian time. So jump on there if you wanted to find out a bit more about the program, um, because it's not just, the music on steroids is really the immersion, the initial immersion into this methodology. But it, you know, if you wanna hang around with me, it, 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 it's, a, it's a curriculum um, that can last uh, six to ten years, but we certainly get so much done in those first um, first weeks of music on steroids. 144 chords, uh, but you only have to remember 12 things. So reach out on this page if you would like to um, find out more about that. Uh, if you did want to enrol in, um, in that before the 18th of December, I've got a really, really special Christmas offer. So it might be worth just jumping on that introductory session this Thursday. So hope to see you then. And um, thanks for hanging out and uh, sharing my stories from the week with me. Take care for now. See you later. Bye.